Good morning, modern steaders. Do you hear that? It's raining out there like cats and dogs. It's crazy. Look, we've gotten way too much rain lately. Whew. We need to go milk the goats, but since it's raining so bad, before we do that, let's cut to the part of the video that we did last night. Well, the girls left me for the night. They're spending the time with my sister. She's going back for the weekend. And we're gonna live adventurously. We're gonna try a creamy red birch beer. We're gonna go for a ride on some back roads as we bring all the goat feed home. That's different, creamy red birch beer. That's pretty good. of questions lately about if we worm our goats and how do we deworm our goats. Before we got our goats, we contacted some of our friends. One of them is Danelle from Weedem and Reap and then Rose from the Wholesome Roots YouTube channel. We were asking them, hey, you guys have great success with your goats. What do you do? One of the things I asked Danelle was, how do you worm your goats? And she recommended this herbal dewormer. It's a dewormer you can use if your goats have worms. You can also use it for preventative maintenance, and that's what we do. Just powder form. I go one, two, three, twice a day. I feed them chaff hay when I'm cooking. And I just mix it in with the chaff hay. The nice part about the chaff hay is it's kind of damp, so the herbs just stick to it, and the goats have to eat the herbs. So it makes it pretty nice. The lady we bought our goats from also had them tested for parasites before we bought them, so we knew that they were parasite free before we brought them home. This is what the chaff hay looks like, and you can't even see the herb. Or herb mixture, I should say. Man, it's coming down! Yep, the pigs are staying in this smart. What are you chickens doing, huh? I wonder what the goats are up to. Oh, you're sleeping. What are you thinking? I've never walked in on you sleeping in the morning. That rain's relaxing to you too? I think it's raining even harder now. What do you think, Willow? Man, we're gonna get wet and we can't even run. If we run, we spill the milk. Oh, I hope this don't last all day.
Gonna have some watered down milk. Whew, we made it. I'll tell you what, the other animal chores are gonna have to wait till it stops raining now. Wow, I got soaked. How much water we brought back in the grain bucket. It's crazy. Oh, the rain has just about stopped and just over two and a quarter inches so far. So we still have the red truck. We need to sell it. I bet you Moose and his ladies are wanting to get out. That turkey's doing good. Oh, Mr. Turkey, you just needed some food. Oh, moose. What the heck happened there? No idea. Where's moose? There you are, mister. Crack me up. Let's see if they've eaten any more oyster shells. They have, and then they've been pecking away at the kelp, seaweed, whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, plenty enough water in there, coming out the overflow. I don't know if the audio on this camera is picking it up or not, but can you hear that? So thick, I don't know if we can get in here. Oh, this might be the best spot. Flooding pretty good in here, guys. Clean you off. Man, it's crazy in here. Look at that. Oh. Wet boots. Good thing we got a boot dryer. This is one of the reasons why I love living on a modern homestead, farm, whatever you want to call it. There's always an adventure to be had. I never know what's going to happen from one day to the next.
I always wanted to grow up on a farm or a ranch and this is it. Just found another rock wall in here. This is probably our property line right here. I don't know how well you can see up there, but this is all mountain runoff. There's more waterfalls up over here. Back out. Gonna take my boots off out here. Ugh. And I put the plow on because we're getting a firewood delivery today. And the plow is where we're getting the wood dropped off. Got the firewood delivery here. That's what two and a half cords of firewood looks like. We got some more coming next weekend. That'll keep us busy stacking that for a little while. Get lift it off. Oh, there you go. <gasps> you gonna let the turkeys out? All the way off. <laughs> Baby. Look at them. Baby turkeys. Baby. You like the babies? <laughs> <laughs> We had some friend of ours come up from New York. They were driving by to go to Maine. And they said, hey, we got some turkeys to keep your other turkey company. So, look what we got. I bet he's gonna like it. <laughs> Daddy. You wanna put him down here? Huh? You can put him in. Yeah. Has I wonder what they'll do. I think one of them is a tom, but I'm not. It's so hard to tell. It's hard. I was gonna say I don't even know about the other guy, and he's a little bit bigger. Baby, baby. Yeah, you want to get down and look? <laughs> you want to get like, up? I want look? in. Uh, are you yeah, a turkey? Hey, poopy. Oh, they said, let me check you cool? out. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we're not gonna go.